Howdy sports fans. I've got a little project on today. I'm starting the rebuild of the Red Mark II burner and I've picked up a set of wheels to go with it. And these are in horrendous condition. I'm gonna show you how I get them from super rusty back to shiny chrome. It's a little trick and I think you'll like it. My name's Neil Cotton and this is Chase the Rain Mill. Oh yeah. Now then, believe it or not, all you need is a roll of aluminium foil and a bottle of Coca-Cola. Lots of elbow grease. Let's crack on and let's see if it transforms into a shiny spangler new wheel set. What you can see is a very, very corroded wheel. I've got my bottle of Coca-Cola, nice and fizzy. Ooh, little fizz. Put it in a receptacle. Tear up the tin foil. Scrunch it up a little bit. And dip it in the Coca-Cola. And it's just a matter of persevering. It does take quite a long time. So what we might do is clip it and show you a bit of progress as I go along. See. That hurts. What a quick rub will do for us. And if you can see that, it's starting to come back shiny already. What it won't do is get rid of the pitten. But what it will do is get rid of the rust. And that's just five or five minutes of scrubbing with the tin foil, and it's starting to come up nice already. benefit of the video I've done a quick lap around both sides I've not been really meticulous but you can see already I'm sure that these are looking loads better there is some pretty bad spots where the chrome is shot especially around this area and the other wheel is the same and that's not going to come back no way Jose no way um, but what I can do is persevere, keep on going, and get the best job I can out of it, really. But that's not going to come back. But I can get it better than that. Definitely get it better than that. Right, so, given them a good scrub with the Coca Cola and the tin foil, they're not too bad. Considering how horrendous they were, they've come up okay. There's some heavy pitting in places, but I can't do much about that at the minute. My next job is to uh, get a little stainless brush here. I've actually done some of it already and really get a scrub in around here. Get all that nice and clean, bit of WD-40, then wipe it off. Uh, and then clean the spokes up. Now, cleaning the spokes up is actually quite easy. Just a bit of 400 grade wet or dry. 
and you really just rub them and just get the worst of the oxidizing off and they actually polish up really nice if you can see that so i've got to do every single spoke on both wheels then try and get in and clean the hubs and get the rust out of there then i'll probably have another go at the rims and then polish them up and see what they look like i'll be back in a minute A lot goes into these wheel restorations. Whoa! Take a look at these bad boys now. Stripped out the axles and serviced them. Finished off the cleaning. There's a few loose spokes involved. The back wheel has got a bit of a flat spot. So tomorrow, I'm going to take it down to Obi-Wan Kenobi at Big On Bikes, my local bike workshop, and see if Simon can use the force and get rid of that flat spot. The feeling, they'll say no. But if anybody can, Simon can. Yeah, so, nice. Ooh. So, I reckon I've put about oh, seven or eight hours work into these wheels. They cost me 30 quid. They're probably now worth 40 quid. Um, but I've taken them from pretty much scrap to beyond survivor condition, you know, survivor rider condition. They're all right, you know, 40 odd years old. I mean, horrendous condition when I got them. And now pretty cool. I, I'm, I'm very pleased with that. Reckon I've done a pretty good job. So, that's it really for today. I'm going to get uh, a rim strip on the front one. Get the tyre get the tire on and see what it looks like. That one's going down to get uh, trued up. Um, and I can start the red burner build then. So... Thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you found it useful and informative. Um, that's the reason for doing it, really. Uh, yeah, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and ring that notification bell. Whatever it is, and wherever it is, and whatever it does. I've been Neil Cotton. You, you've been fabulous. <laughs>